Oh, seven only. Let's go. Don't die as a hardcore quickly. I'm not going to grab armor for him. Wasn't there before. And I'm going to start doing Cook's Assistant, because that's how I start pretty much all of my accounts. Might as well do it while you're in Lumbridge. But we're off. And out of run. The audio for this clip got really messed up, so I'm just going to talk over it. Cook's Assistant finished. Took me probably three minutes. One of the first things I do when creating any Iron Man is try to get the Highwayman cape as soon as possible. I don't like walking around without a cape slot, and it's just a fun little thing to do. Every time I reach a big milestone, I die at a different color. So in the series, watch out for changes in cape color until I get a skill cape. Once I got it, I adventured on and walked straight through Falador. So I gotta figure out a way to get over White Wolf Mountain and start the quests over there. Is there a teleport that I could use? Pretty sure that if I pull the lever, it'll bring me to Edgeville. So I don't want to do that. Guess the only choice is to get some HP levels, but I'm only 9 away, so I'll do that. Oh, what quests can I do right now? 12 quest points, nope. Oh, I can go to the Stronghold of Security and train there. Definitely gonna need to get more HP, but that's okay. Because I will be able to get more runes once I finish that. Oh, oh, hold on. I was listening to a recording to fix the audio, and it looks like I've got a random event. What I really need is a maze random event so that I can sell all the stuff to the shops. Yes! I got the shirt. Look at this guy. Those goblins are level 16. Yeah, I guess that they are stronger than the normal ones. Alright. First wave done, and then I think I might be able to make the second one. Okay, we're in. Now, give me my loot. Oh god. Flap them out. 2k. That's 2k that's gonna go towards runes. Let's see if we can actually make it through here without dying. Alright, I can walk this. Once I get to the crawler, I'm gonna have to run. It's not multi, so I'm set. Oh, please, no. Ceridoman sword on flesh crawlers. What the hell? Attack the rat, come on. No, I gotta attack the zombie. Oh, God. Eat up. Uh-oh. No. Oh, my God. Oh my god. That could have been the end right there if I didn't have that one run energy. Yes, yeah, slap had a moat. That is definitely... That is definitely... Appropriate. Please don't tell me that I can get attacked by the barbarians. Pretty sure they won't attack me. As long as I don't do anything. Whew. There's food in here. Oh my god. I gotta start playing a little bit safer. Alright. Onwards to getting some runes. Varok. Not dead yet. Train my mage up so that I'm able to do quest bosses because that's usually how I start every new account that I make besides doing hunter for uh, money but since this is an Iron Man gotta figure out how I can get those quests done get my stats up hopefully defense and HP more than anything so probably gonna try to do witch's house first and I still need to get to Ardugan to get some cakes and here we are already at Aubrey's rune shop give me some of those I can't get the packets I just realized, so I'm gonna have to buy the regular ones. Fire stuff is gonna be more useful for the future, so I'm just gonna buy that. 13 magic shouldn't take too long to get to. Um, I can't go to the deep wilderness to get the steel plate bodies like I've had on my other accounts, cause obviously I would risk my account status. So for now, I'm gonna have to try to figure out how I can make money, most likely through thieving. I'm gonna go to the cake stall, thieve a bunch of that, and probably do silk and get my thieving up that way. Because I could sell it back to the guy for, I think, 60 GP each is the maximum. And if I get 1k silk, then I can just keep taking it out and getting 60k. And then I'll be able to get runes very early, very quickly. So, that's the new plan. But I still have to get to Ardu or Ardone. Fire Staff? Nice. That's a little bit of an upgrade. I know that gives me some magic attack bonus. Plus 10. As opposed to 0 from before. And I can auto-cast things now. I know what I should actually do since I'm... Uh, in the area. I'm gonna do the museum kudos thing. Problem is it's gonna use up a lot of run energy, but who cares. Nice. After doing the kudos thing since I was still in Varrock, I decided to do Romeo and Juliet. It's a very quick quest and it gives you good quest points, so might as well just get it out of the way early. I have a new plan. I know exactly what I'm gonna do. Witch's house is very close. I am definitely gonna get that quest done because it gives a ton of HP XP. I might flinch the first two with the training sword, since I can hit up to threes with lunge, and then use this on the next ones. Oh, I actually need to get the piece of cheese. So let me go to Draenor, and I will be back. Yes! Oh my god! 
That's a yellow bead. I filmed it just in case I got a bead and I did. Perfect. So that's one of the four that I have that I needed. Good that I needed to go to Draenor. I got a bit of progress done. It's so hard to get these beads. All right, I just got the cheese. I have never used more than one ever doing this quest, but I just got two just in case because I don't want to have to walk so far. Um, I just got another bead, black bead. Let me kill this one. Maybe I'll get back to back. What? When I tried doing this on my regular, man, it took forever. Did they make an update? <laughs> nope, just fashion scape. Actually, I think that gives a little bit of magic bonus as well. It does! Plus two magic bonus, perfect. Well, I didn't get exactly what I needed, but I got something that makes things a little bit easier. Start up by talking to the boy, and we'll roll right through this. We're good! That's all of them dead. Now I just gotta take the ball and make sure I do not get identified by the witch. Nice, look at those stats. I think it's time. I think I'm ready to go over White Wolf Mountain and finally unlock all of the other content that I can be uh, doing right now. I've got to kill a couple monsters so that I can get a little bit more food, but I think there's some stuff in Birthorp that I can kill that will drop um, meat that I can cook on the fire over there. So I'm going to go and take a look and then go right over the mountain. 60 run, that's going to be enough. We're going to go for it. We're over. That's it. Just like that, we're into Catherby. Uh, like a true member. Um, oh, uh, it feels so good. I know that you can minigame teleport from Castle Wars and stuff. I have to recommend this playstyle. It's really fun to just feel like you're unlocking new pieces of, uh, new pieces of places like that. But it's extremely exciting. Feels like I'm getting ready to do a whole bunch of new stuff. Since Arty is just so useful for everything that it has for newer players, I decided to just go straight from Catherby to Arty right away. The shop sells a lot of very useful things. I'm gonna need vials of water. I'm gonna need ropes. Papyrus for a couple of quests. I'm gonna get like five of those. Um, these balls of wool I can actually just buy for sheep shearer. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I can just literally do balls of wool, and those are two each, so I can just get twenty here. Wow, six thieving already. I don't know how much each one of these gives. Low level content is <laughs> always stealing cakes. All right, I'll come back once I have the thieving level for silk. All right, there it is. I kept dropping things under my feet, but then I decided, hey, why not just get another inventory of cakes to finish off level 20. So I'm going to put these in the bank, and then I'm going to go to the silk stall. I'm probably going to hop worlds because there's a guy there, um, or I'll just make friends with him. Yeah, I'll stay in this world for now. So that's 78 cakes thieved. I got a couple of bread because you have to get it for that um, quest where you get Excalibur. I forget which one it is. I wanted to save it so that I didn't have to bake any later. And now it's time to make a little bit of money. See you when I have around 500 silk. Oh, it's done. Well, it's not done because I have to sell them to him an hour later. But as of right now, it took me probably a little over an hour to get 500 silk. So that is going to be 30k, I think. It says three, but it's not. Yeah, it's going to be like 30k. I think, I don't, I'm fairly sure that I can't sell them noted to him. So it's going to take a while to sell. But hey, that's going to be a lot of runes for the future. Um, I could probably do fight arena. With 30 casts, you think? I think. So, it is time for me to definitely <laughs> do the stronghold of security because I'm almost out of air ruins and I've got to kill two things. Uh oh, I'm going to the stronghold. I will pause the timer now and I will go to the last level to get my boots and my 5k. Oh no, I'm back in Lumbi. All right, wasn't hard at all. I had to eat two pieces of cake, that's it. <laughs> you already know which one I'm gonna choose. Pretty sure they're shit though. 
Magic minus, but they don't affect your melee stats. Okay, got the money, got the boots. It is time to go to the rune shop and get some air runes so that I can keep questing. Maybe some mine runes as well. I also need to go to the bar and get a beer, or not a beer, I need to talk to the guy because I got the garlic and started the vampire slayer quest, which I'm gonna just do in the meantime because, I mean, it's easy and it gives a ton of attack XP. That's enough casts for probably Gnome Stronghold and beating Glow. There he is. What? How much HP does he have? Easy. 22? I thought it was going to be like 15. 22 attack. And that took... Pause the timer. 7 minutes, 3 seconds, 82 milliseconds. Easy. Back to White Wolf Mountain, and my attacks are gonna be a lot more frequent. <laughs> Holy shit, especially after I defeat uh, Waterfall Quest. While I was in the area, I did Ernest the Chicken. I saw that it had very few requirements, barely any items, and I just decided to finish it up. Easy quest points. Okay, here we go again. Except I'm gonna walk it this time, except for when I hit the wolf level 73. Oh, feels good to make it over, and I had just enough run. Why is this wolf always here? All right, I'm back, the timer's going again. I cut out all that time since I was doing another quest. Let's go. He, you could just leave. I, I don't get ever why you could just leave there and not fight him. Holy. Look at it. 32 attack, 7 strength, and 6 defense. I'm an attack peer, bro. 33 thieving is definitely good. I think that's a quest requirement somewhere, and I've got to get my agility up sometime soon. Let me look up the requirements for Waterfall Quest, and then I will decide either if I'm going to start doing the Grand Tree ones or that one first. Well, I forgot to get runes, so um, the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to get my Silk sold so that I can get 30k, and then I'm going to do the Gnome quests, <laughs> and then I'm going to come back after getting those runes. I'm sure there's a rune shop somewhere here, but... The only one that I can think of is Yanel, and I can't get it there. Yeah, I have to do the gnome quests anyway. So I'm just going to do all of them, and then I'm going to do Waterfall to finish it off. And there it is, 30k from all of that silk that I just thieved. So I spent about an hour and 30 minutes to get 30k. I had forgotten runes, so I had to go to the bank to get them. And I just brought 5k up because I keep passing the shop and saying that I'm going to get the stuff and never getting it. So I'm just going to get it real quick. All right, I bought a couple of papyrus, so that's Legends Quest ready. Uh, I've got basically sheep shear in my inventory. I bought a couple more and they're in the bank and I got like 10 ropes I think five ten ropes So that's a whole bunch of different quests that I have to set back to the real quest Why is this happening? Oh my god Why does it let him tick me like that? Oh, that could have been the end of the account. I was climbing over. He hit me like four times. All right, so this is going to be kind of a stupid way that I have to attack him. Because I don't want to use my main account and just cheat it. And he can hit hard. So I'm going to keep walking back and forth, attacking him with uh, Fire Strike. I could probably get him behind a tree. But there's no, like, way to do that without flinching. And I don't want to flinch. So I'm just going to try to figure out a different way. Okay, here we go. I hate trying to get past these wolves. Oh, God. These are the wolves that are level 64. These are the ones that I remember. Alright, I guess I can go all around them without getting attacked. Nope. Sticking behind the tree. Oh my god, stop following. Jeez, man, they're so- they're everywhere. Alright, so let me go to the west and try to figure out if there's a way that I can trap it. I can trap him behind that skull, probably. Well, I can't dismiss them, so I guess I'm gonna have to get attacked again. <laughs> kind of doing something important, but whatever. Okay, so I'm gonna- I got an idea. No, not enough of me. For the fight, I had one of the dumbest ideas you'll ever see, and it ended up working perfectly to kill him. I found the exact square where if I walked on it, he would come back to attack me. I'd let him attack me, and I could attack him twice before he would ever be able to hit me. I think actually three times. I kept repeating it until he was dead. It took a little bit of a while, but it's the best alternative you have if you don't have somebody blocking for you. Got him. <laughs> I can almost wield rune. These quests barely take any time, even without stamina potions. It's great. Just started uh, Grand Tree. Gonna get this done, and then I'm gonna move on to Waterfall. Never mind. I need agility to do the Grand Tree. So, it's time to do Waterfall instead. I have to leave and go to Varrock in order to get runes, so I am going to talk to her to start the quest, as I am going to try to get as much done before having to do the part where you go into the dungeon, and put the runes on the rocks as I can. Safely got it. 
Got the amulet, got the urn. All set over there. All right, so let's get a couple of runes right now. And I'm gonna get a whole bunch of mind and air. Probably 1k of each. Or, um, 1k and 2k. Every time I teleport to Lumbridge, I'm like, no, because I have no way of getting back to the other spots. 850 mind runes. I meant to buy 750. And then a whole bunch of other stuff. I'm just gonna charter ship this time. I've got the luxury of it now. I don't think that it's gonna cost that much. If it does, then I'll just go to a different location close by. I actually don't mind that. It's better than the other prices. And now I can just get off. Go straight to this guy. And then go 30 GP to Artie. Here we go, the classic rock. Down into the tunnel. Probably should have brought some fire strike cast so that I could kill some fire giants, but it's fine. Use the key on it. Yes. Oh, I was trying to do the rat method, but I don't think I ever needed to. Still six defense, gotta definitely get that up, but at least I can get a rune sword. Maybe I might go for it at Varrock, or just try to get it here. I'll do a little bit of training here, kill a few fire giants, and then I'll get out of here and try to do some other quests next. Fremenic Trials maybe right now. After completing Waterfall Quest, I wanted to go straight to doing Fremenic Trials. I couldn't though because you need to have a shark in order to do that quest. Luckily, there's a shop in Canifus that sells them, you just have to do Priest and Peril. Since Restless Ghost is a prereq for it, I figured why not just knock it out. Here we go, he's not gonna be scary though because... yeah. Why does he look different than any other skeleton in the game? Like, that model looks sick. The other skeletons look kind of weird walking around. Restless Ghost ended up taking me a while because I was doing other quests in the meantime while I was doing this one. In addition to doing Restless Ghost for the prereq, I also got Sheep Shearer knocked out because I had all of the balls of wool in my bank, as well as Rune Mysteries while I was walking around to the various locations, and Demon Slayer while I just stopped in Varrock to do something else. Then after that, it was on to Priest in Peril. Didn't think I was gonna get attacked there. Anyway. That's finished with 16 minutes. It took a long time just because I had to get the bones from killing all these different sorts of creatures. It took me a little while, but that one's finished. And now I can go straight to ruining some rune essence. Mining. I mean. That sums it up. 5 mining and 50 rune essence. That's all I need for this quest. Time to start it and finish it. Pro tip, I just found out. You can flinch him. Like, I don't need to. I'm pretty sure that I'm okay. But if you need to, just stand back here. Wait for yourself to disappear. Look at that. Thank God. That's done. Super long quest. Because of all that rune essence that I had to get. Please let me get into Canifus. Oh, 16 prayer. What do I unlock? Hey, what? Yes. Now I gotta get to Relica somehow. <laughs> I'm in such a bad spot. Here we are. Oh my God, it took me a long time to get to. Either way, I'm here again, and it's time to start the timer once I talk to Brunt. Then I've got to kill Lanzig quite a few times in order to get that liar. All right, timer started. Here we go. We get set to kill this guy. Boots are the only other thing. Time to start a grind. I'll be back once I finish killing him. Oh, that's insanely quick. How long did it take me? It only took me seven minutes total. That's probably like five minutes of killing him to get the liar. It's extremely fast. Okay, now we can go on with the rest of the quest. Okay, I can attack him here. Let's see if it's horrible that I'm switching to melee. Let's see how bad it is. Where's the southwest corner? Let me allow him to get here. Good. Now I can flinch him. Easy stuff. Thank you, fungus. What? <laughs> no! No, no way. Oh, that's heartbreaking. Okay, I'm gonna do him at the end of the quest because I can't beat him unless I have like a whole inventory of cakes. I had this much of it and I kept flinching him and then trying to do semi-flinching and I'll need to catch him in this area again. So that's really, really unfortunate. I don't know how long he's supposed to stay there for, but that sucks so bad. After having the dragon despawn on me, I did a whole bunch of the other requirements for the quest, and then once I did that, I moved on to what I consider the final fight against Koshi the Deathless, and you won't believe what happened. He despawned. Ooh. I noticed for both of them, I was not killing them fast enough, so I decided to bring more food to see if I could get more hits in. For the dragon, it ended up helping a little bit. Yes! Yes! Oh, that inspires hope. That inspires hope for the other enemy. <laughs> Wait till you see the. F <laughs> no, 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 no. 
I didn't want to waste any more time killing a boss that I knew I wasn't going to be able to kill. So I decided to get my crafting up in order to try a different strategy. I figured that using rings of recoil would help me a lot in the fight, since people say that they use it for the fourth form to get him killed by his own hits. So after doing murder mystery, I picked some flax, spun it, got myself to 20 crafting. Alright, after this last flax, this one right here, I should get 20 crafting. Um, I'm debating whether to do holy grail beforehand, because I'm going to be running around the game anyway. I've got to get another gold bar from doing Goblin Diplomacy, so I'm probably going to do Merlin's Crystal real quick and then start Holy Grail. There's 20 crafting. Cut sapphires and sapphire rings. Perfect. And I can buy one from the gem stall in Artie. In the end, by the way, I got 195 bowstring, and it's time to start Merlin's Crystal and do Goblin Diplomacy in the meantime. I just found out the gems are really expensive to buy from Artie, and for some reason if you buy it uncut from the gem seller in Falador, they only cost 25 coins. So I'm definitely going to Falador after I get Excalibur. On my way to finish Goblin Diplomacy, I get a tw uh, random event. Hopefully some good gems, emeralds maybe, dueling rings. Nice! It was emeralds. It's one of the best quest noises I've ever heard. I'm gonna buy 10 sapphires from the shop and get 22 so I can make some games necklaces. However, I've got all the gold bars that I need now for three rings of recoil. I may have gone a little overboard with buying these, but that's okay. So right now we've got 23 sapphires total. Let's make three sapphire rings. I don't have a ring mold. Yeah, it is. I might as well get everything while I'm here. All right, that's every mold in the game. All right, let's smelt these at the furnace and then keep going. I was at Hill Giants for a bit trying to get cosmic runes from them, but after a bit I realized that it was horrible. So then I made up a new plan in my head. Okay, screw it. This is awful. I'm gonna go into the wilderness and go to the major arena place and have my main scout for me. And then I'll be able to get there, buy some cosmic runes, and say goodbye to killing hill giants forever. Okay, look at myself. Log out ready. I don't think there will be anybody here. Jeez, man. Oh god, I wronged out of- I logged out of the wrong account. Oh. I'm good. I actually logged out of the wrong account. I didn't even hear the music stop or anything, and I just thought I was fine. I was like... We lived. We lived. I finally got the cosmic runes to enchant my rings of recoil. Immediately afterwards, I finished off Merlin's crystal, got Excalibur ready, and went to fight Koshi one more time. Oh look, I think I'll be doing this with somebody. Who's over here? Good old Eagle White 7. Alright, my friend, the deed is done. Alright, wow, six quest points, that's insane. And now we move on to the fight. Feels like a final boss every time that I go to him. I don't know if I have enough cakes, so I'm going to stop at Artie to get more. And then we fight. Okay, here's the inventory I'm going to be rolling with. Obviously, these are going to be three rings of recoil. I will not put them on for the first two because that's unnecessary. But on the third form, I know it's going to be able to be enough. Should work, should have enough food, and I should be able to kill him with the rings. Yes, can stop the timers. Look at all of those levels that I just got. Definitely just got a whole ton of them. 
Den lore. <laughs> That's the worst one I've ever gotten. Wow, look at that chat box. Now that's a quest right there. It's done. The trials are done. Denlor is born.